That's that's probably good. Whoa. Well, the compressor must not be on. So guys, what we're gonna be doing here is building a uh, just a simple kind of a carport shelter. Uh, very, very simple. And we're using some tin that came off of a small metal shelter that got blown down in a windstorm. Here's our metal right here. It's 21 uh, feet long and three feet wide and there's seven sheets. So we're basically modeling the entire shelter around this used tin. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and lay it out and try to get some holes drilled. Six feet eight and a half inches and that's 25 seven that's pretty bad yeah that's it, that's it. That's it. What? Four inches about a half an inch, a half an Do I need to do anything? No. Okay. Just make sure it's it level. We see these cicadas as just the exoskeleton after they shed. I'm not sure that I've ever seen a live one on a tree like this. This that's pretty cool. Whoops. If there's anything I can say to help y'all, just let me know. Movie star out there. <laughs> Howard's already a star. People ask about him all the time. Yeah, I know it. I see it. It's 25 feet and one half of an inch. Yeah, see, that's 24 feet and seven inches. Huh. So that's five and a half inches out. And that's 18 feet three inches, which is fine. That's 17 five. We're going to have to fix that. So we got to start over entirely on this hole. All right, so I've gone from one foot off to three inches off. Nail it.
Are y'all coming to help?
So guys, that is, oh goodness, gnats. That's, that's it for this very, very simple little shelter. It took 30 to 40 man hours between me and Howard working on this thing to get it accomplished. So not a whole lot of time in it. And as far as the material goes, I'll show you what material was used. These posts are six by sixes on the corners, store bought, of course, pressure treated. And in the middle, there's five four by fours as well. Everything else was sawmill lumber. This is trees, or these are from trees rather, that got blown down in a tornado here this is not my place as I'm sure y'all probably will notice that but a tornado came through here a few months ago and blew down quite a few trees and I was able to come over with my mill and saw up the lumber and make something kind of make lemonade out of lemons make something very usable uh, out of a bunch of downed trees so the rafters that sawmill lumber two uh, true two by sixes these headers are true two by sixes as well off of the sawmill and that lathing up there I actually brought from my house that was some scrap lumber that I just really wanted to get rid of so that's sawmill lumber as well uh, all of the braces that's sawmill lumber and it came out very, very sturdy. Unfortunately, I couldn't put braces in the front because it just took up way too much space and it would have not, it wouldn't have cleared the tractor well enough to uh, to make that practical. But braces in a lot of other places and it's um, very, very stable, very, very strong. Doesn't, doesn't move hardly when you, I don't know how well y'all can hear that, but it's very, very strong and I don't think it's going anywhere. Of course, you saw I put hurricane clips on it as well and uh, plugged up the holes in that used tin up there. So uh, lots of reclaimed material went into this. So that kept cost, kept cost a lot lower than it would have been if he had been buying brand new material. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you're thinking about doing something like this, it was actually very, very easy to do. So if you're thinking about doing it, I think I'm about to have to go because the cows are creeping in here and the gate's open. If you're thinking about doing something like this, it's really not that difficult. It takes a little bit of time. This only took about 40 man hours or so, so not so bad. And uh, you can do it. It's really, really not all that difficult. If you're scared, you don't think that you can, just do it. You'll figure it out. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching.